Donc un des problèmes que l'on rencontre en rhumatologie pratique est le risque de toxicité éventuelle avec le plaquenil, avec l'hydroxychloroquine. Et nous avons la chance d'avoir le docteur Singh de Cleveland qui a fait une revue sur plusieurs milliers de patients traités par plaquenil avec son expérience de la toxicité éventuelle. So please Dr Singh, would you be kind enough to go into uh, your poster please? Yes, thank you. So um, at my institution I did a study looking at the prevalence of blindness of uh, patients that were treated with hydroxychloroquine that have various conditions, uh, rheumatic diseases like lupus, rheumatoid arthritis and other inflammatory arthritis. And from our cohort of patients, uh, we had close to 3,000 patients that use hydroxychloroquine and about 31 had a diagnosis of either toxic mechalopathy or blindness that, um, that I further did a detailed chart review on. So it was not, or it was related or not to hydroxychloroquine? these 31 cases? So out of the 31 cases, three had hydroxychloroquine related retinopathy, uh, two with the classical bullseye mechalopathy, changes that were de detected on um, OCT screening that we do um, fairly regularly yearly here in the US, um, mm -hmm. and one had pigmentary changes that were de detected on, on OCT screening, and, and none of them had any visual impairment. Mm -hmm. and, and so they, they all were just doing, they presented for routine screening, uh, screening and this was detected. And the other um, 31 patients, when I did chart review to figure out, you know, why they had blindness or other visual impairment, and actually was more related to their comorbidities, like their hypertension, diabetes, stroke, and other conditions um, that they had mm -hmm. that led to their visual impairment and blindness, uh, yeah. and unrelated to the hydroxychloroquine. You mentioned in your uh, topic that some drugs can also contribute to blindness. So there's an increased risk um, in, in, in terms of um, to tamoxifen use that may contribute uh, to accelerating the okay. hydroxychloroquine related retinopathy. Yeah. So in, in France, we use 6.5 milligram per kilo body weight. Yes. What's uh, your now uh, rules in the, in the US? So with our current guidelines from the American Academy of Ophthalmology um, that were out since 2016, um, they're, they're our most current guidelines, mm -hmm. they recommend uh, use of less than five milligram per kilogram, a daily dose. Usage. So five milligram. So yes. it's very important also to check the weight yes. uh, all over the, uh, the lifespan of the, of the patient. So it's very important because as you age, you know that your weight does change with time. And so if, if you're increasing or decreasing weight, your hydroxychloroquine dose may need to be adjusted. Absolutely. And even if you're, you're stable, um, it's really important to take that into consideration, especially if you've been on it for a long term. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, Dr. Singh. Thank you.